one off, but um, no, no damage done, and no doubt it's going to make her way back onto the circuit. But however, we've got Louise Inch coming down pretty quickly. I hope she's seen that, and she just take a little bit more speed off of her time to, uh, rather than running to the back of that car, but she, Louise Inch dealt with that fairly well. Yeah, she, uh, no problems there. Jan also at the right moment to really on the circuit. Well, Wesley Dunsford, I think, Wesley Dunsford's had the slight error because he's dropped back a little bit from Michael Friday's and David Rumbelow. But Friday's got the run and Rumbelow here as they accelerate towards 30 and Rumbelow squeezing towards the inside of the circuit. And Strider, he's got enough on him, so through he goes. The big machine just heads for the yellow one through certain pair of their sporting positions always long. We're into the penultimate map of the race, Peter Turbot, and he's in amongst some of the slower runners. And, and thanks very much to Roger Tello for joining us. We'll look forward to uh, Roger talking us through the uh, Supermite in his race that we'll have a little bit later on this afternoon. If it continues to dry out, then with any luck, as well, we will see a... Uh, Another superb battle like you saw yesterday. So we've got still leading the race in the server. Louise in second, Mark Burnett has uh, held on in third. He's just been off the, uh, the challenge from Paul Chater. And uh, Chater is uh, clear of Michael Dryden, but Dryden has really got to hurry up and out. In fact, Dryden is closing the race of two seconds a lap now on Paul Chater and Mark Burnett in the uh, third and fourth position. So it's not hardly settled just yet. Um, particularly Burnett or Chase would make an error because Paul Chase goes very quickly to Grenville Bend that time. He just about gets the car turned through, so to the short sprinting Cooper straight they come and with 36 seconds left on the clock it is going to be into the final lap of the race for our runaway race leader and potentially runaway race victor Peter Turbot. So it's going to be a 17 lap race this one and another very quick lap from Peter Turbot, 1 minute 12. .666. So Peter Turbot really streaking away at the head of the field. Second place, Louise Inch, she's looked fairly solid all race long. Third place is Mark Burnett, who goes around the outside of Joanna Hill, puts a lap on her, and then Paul Chater in fourth. Fifth place is Michael Dryden, sixth place is David Rumbelow, and that's probably the closest back in the race. Wesley Dunford in seventh place, and then slight gap back to. Adrian Tutley, who is just going to be making the move on Thomas Mosey for a your best way. Adrian Tutley has recovered from that lap one spin up into eighth position. It gets pretty tight for his helmet, but through he goes. And so Adrian Tutley gaining another place and uh, climbing up the hill towards Druid. Um, I think that's about as far up the order as he is going to come. So Peter Turbot, just a couple of hundred metres between himself and the race victory here in the mighty minis. And... Uh, Coming on from this race, we've still got plenty of actions to enjoy for the Cape Road Sport Beach Championship, the OSF Championship, the Cape Super Sports, the Super Mini, the Alfa Romeo Championship, and the Don Motor Oil News Saloon Car Championship. But it's the race win for Peter Turbot here in the second race of the weekend for the BRSCC Mighty Mini's second place. He's going to go to Louise Inch, somewhat distant in the end, but Louise Inch crosses the line. She claims second place in a very solid haul of championship points. Third place goes the way of Mark Burnett. And then in fourth place.